We here at Drama Ministry heard that your first reconciliation is just around the corner. So we thought we would share some tips and tricks on how to make your reconciliation go as smoothly as possible. mean to my sister, uh, I pushed her, um, I stole uh, like three cookies from the hospitality line, um, I didn't do my homework on time, uh, I was supposed to eat my vegetables but I just gave them to the dog, um, I didn't listen to my parents when I was supposed to pick up the, my toys from my bedroom, um, yeah, that's, that's about it. When you arrive for confession, should you A. Wait in line until it's your turn, B. Make sure the candle is lit, or C. Both A and B. If you said C, then you're correct. You should always wait in line and allow those who arrived before you to go first. And you should always make sure the candle is lit. Most churches have a candle or light outside the door to tell you that the priest is inside. Now that we have that figured out, let's try this again. If you arrive and the door is closed, should you A. Wait for the door to open, B. Knock to see if anyone's inside, or C. Leave? If you said A, then you're correct. You should always make sure to respect other people's privacy during confession and wait for the door to open. Let us begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Bless me, Father, for I have sinned. Uh, this is my first confession. So, how did Nick do? Did he A. Forget to say hello to the priest? B. He didn't need to tell the priest when he last came to confession? Or C. It was perfect? If you said C, then you're correct. Nick did a great job. Bless me, Father, if I sinned. It's been a week since my last confession. I broke the commandments 1, 5, 7, and 9. And for these and all my sins, I'm truly sorry. So, how did you think Mackenzie did? Should she have A, knelt behind the screen for her confession? B, used more detail when confessing her sins? Or C, it was perfect? If you said B, then you're correct. It's okay to sit face to face with the priest or to kneel behind the screen. It's up to you. But Mackenzie should have used more detail during her confession. Let's try that again and see how Nick does this time. Well, um, the other day, uh, I didn't eat my vegetables at dinner. I just gave them to the dog. Um, I didn't do my homework on time and I, I got a bad grade. Uh, oh, I, uh, didn't put my toys away like my parents asked, and I, uh, they yelled at me, um, on the plate, or, uh, in school the other day, um, my friend Jimmy, he borrowed some of my crayons without asking, but he broke them, and I didn't like that, so on the playground I pushed him. That's about it. What do you think? Should Nick A. Speak quieter, B. Speak faster, or C, it was perfect.
If you said A, then you're correct. You should speak quietly in order to respect your own privacy and to not make people outside of the confessional uncomfortable. Let's give Nick another chance. Well, uh, the other day, my sister uh, stole one of my, my toys, but um, she deserved this, so I pushed her. Oh, uh, we were playing baseball, and my friend hit me with the baseball. He said it was an accident, but I don't believe him, so I hit him back. Yeah. What do you think? Should Nick A. not make excuses, B. use more detail, or C. it was perfect? If you said A, then you're correct. There's no need to make excuses when you go to confession. It's your chance to hand over your sins to God. Let's give Mackenzie another shot and see if she can do better. Bless me, Father, for my sin. It's been a month since my last confession. And I got mad at my mom. And I cheated on my homework. And I pulled my sister's hair, and I kicked my dog. Should Mackenzie A. speak more clearly, B. speak louder, or C. it was perfect? If you said A, then you're correct. While you don't want to speak too loudly, you do want to speak clearly so that the priest can understand what you're saying. So just remember, when you're confessing your sins, make sure to be detailed, not to make excuses, to speak clearly, but also to not speak too loudly. Um, I didn't eat my vegetables uh, at dinner time. Um, I just gave them to the dog. Uh, and I didn't put my toys away like my parents asked me. Is that it? What could be done differently in this situation? Should A, the priest have waited longer? B, Nick should have made it clear that he was done? Or C, it was done perfectly? If you said B, then you're correct. Nick should have made it clear that he was done with his confession by saying something like, For all of these sins and any I may have forgotten, I am truly sorry. I lied to my teacher about my homework and I didn't clean my room when my mom told me to. And for these and all of my sins, I am truly sorry. Well, thank you, Father. Wait, what? Wait. Once Mackenzie was done confessing her sins, she should have A. shaken the priest's hand before she left, B. waited because the confession wasn't over yet, or C. it was perfect. If you said B, then you're correct. Once you've confessed your sins, that's only the first step. The most important part is still yet to come. And for your penance, would you offer two Hail Marys? Yeah. Uh, Hail Mary, full of grace, uh, the Lord is with thee. Should Nick A, wait to pray until he gets home, B, Wait to pray until he gets outside of the confessional, or C, it was perfect. If you said B, pray your penance after confession, then you're correct. Now can you say an act of contrition? O oh my God, I am heartily sorry for having offended thee, and I detest all my sins, because I dread the loss of heaven and the pains of hell, but most of all because they offend thee, my God, who are all good and deserving of all my love. I firmly resolve, with the help of thy grace, to confess my sins, to do penance, and to amend my life. Amen. The act of contrition is an important part of confession. Did Nick A. read it too quickly? B need to have it memorized, 
or C, it was perfect. If you said C, then you're correct. Although it's important to have it memorized, if you do forget it, reading it's okay too. God, the Father of mercies, through the death and, death and resurrection of his Son, Jesus Christ, has reconciled the world to himself and sent the Holy Spirit among us through, for the forgiveness of sins. Through the ministry of the Church, may God give you pardon and peace, and I absolve you of your sins in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The best part of confession is absolution, God's forgiveness of our sins. Should Mackenzie A. say the words with the priest, B. high-five the priest, or C. it was perfect? If you said C, then you're correct. Oh yeah, clean slate, huh? <laughs> mm. How are you? Pretty good, how are you? I'm good, my sister just got engaged. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Yeah. So, like, when's the wedding? Next summer? Once your confession is over, should you A. Respect the other people praying, B. Pray your penance, or C. Both? If you said C, then you're correct. Once you leave the confessional, there are usually people praying and waiting for confession, and you should respect their time of prayer. You should also pray before you leave. This is a great opportunity to complete your penance, as well as to thank God for his forgiveness and love. So there you have it, our tips and tricks on how to have a successful first reconciliation. The most important things to remember are, even if you mess up, it's okay, because you're still learning. If you forget what to do, just ask the priest. And most of all, God wants you to come to confession, because he loves you.